I got gray. I got big time gray. Let me tell you. I'm 92 years old. I'm a plank owner of this ship, which means a, an original crew member. There aren't many of us left. I came aboard the Intrepid when I was 18 years old. I was a deckhand on the Intrepid. See, that's all it was. <laughs> My first impression, how did a big chunk of iron that float? The first time I stepped aboard this ship, it was just so huge. I, I, it took a while for it to all register and process. I'm 78 years old. I served on the flight deck. You're in my turf right now. state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. The day after Pearl Harbor, which I believe was a Sunday, they were knocking the doors down of recruiting stations. That's the nature of this country. Anyone that was on this ship at that time, or at least 90% of them, were volunteers, not drafted, who wanted to be there. We lost a lot of people then. I admire our crew members of this ship because we put out the fires, we got everything taken care of, and it's a tribute to the crew. And I often think, if we didn't put out the fires and save the ship from the damage, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> we were under attack with kamikazes, and they dove into the aircraft, and we fought the fire for three days, and during that, uh, uh, you know, shells was exploding. Uh, I got shrapnel in my left arm, yeah. Well, in 1962, uh, the Intrepid was designated the recovery ship for uh, Commander uh, Astronaut Scott Carpenter. While I was working on the flight deck, I was suddenly summoned to come to uh, the sick bay quickly, and they said they need people to uh, stand by just in case something happens to Scott Carpenter. Yeah, we need people to be able to give blood. And out of over 3,500, close to 4,000 people on board at that time. There were only 11 people that had the same blood type, and I was one of them. If you get a chance to talk to an intrepid sailor, you will get a deep sense of the humility of those who served. They will say to you, I don't know what the big deal is. We were just doing our job, right? But let me tell you, it was a big damn deal. I come uh, from the Lincoln Tunnel, and when I come down, as soon as I turn to 12th Avenue, and I see this ship, it, it just, it, I become very emotional to see it, that it's still here, and that I actually served on it.